So you join us now in the main ring for the final of the Yukonuba Challenge. You were with us last night for the semi-finals. Now we come to the main event. The final 12 dogs from all over the world, top dogs from their countries. And uh, we're going to see the final 12 competing for the big prize tonight. a showdown of the world's greatest dogs. From this international field, 12 champions were selected from across three sections to advance to the best of the best finals to begin in just a moment from now. First, please welcome into the ring, Johan van der Rijtschurten, Vice President of Pet International Spectrum Brands. He will be escorting our Yukonuba World Challenge Best of the Best Judge, Lauren Pichard. So here comes our judge for the evening, Frank. This is Lauren Pichard from Switzerland, yes? He's, uh, you're from Switzerland. He's been breeder of American Cocker Spaniels for many years and, and some other Spaniels and Poodles. Highly successful, Ladies and well gentlemen, known throughout the world. We are thrilled to present the contenders of this 10th Yukonuba World Challenge. Now From let's Norway, bring the dogs in. The Greyhound. The first of our finalists from Norway, the Greyhound, Jet's Man in the Moon. From the Netherlands, the Bearded Collie. And from the Netherlands, it's the Bearded Collie. Co the Bearded Collie. Representing the European They're Dog Show, by the, the National Chow -chow. Flag Bearer. And, and the winner of the Euro Dog Show for 2016, the Chow Chow, the King of Finland. Egypt. It's De los Terros do Bigo. Now, here's the representative from, Germany, from Finland, the American this Cocker. Tibetan Terrier is representing the country. From Germany, the from Tibetan New Terrier. New Zealand, all the way, it's this Bichon Frise. And Frise. all the way from New Zealand, it's the Bichon Frise. Coming from Indonesia, put your hands together for the Jack Russell Terrier. The delightful little Jack Russell Terrier. Representing Portugal, representing Indonesia. It's this Basset Hounds. And there from Portugal, it's the Coming Basset the Hound, the tricolour Basset Italy, Hound. It's this Maltese. The Italian representative in this final, the Maltese champion wins South of Fortune Korea. Valentina's it's Magic. It's the Bulldog. A uh, pop, a big, <laughs> big cheer for the British Bulldog. Coming all the way from Russia. <laughs> come on, it's come this all the way poodle. from Indonesia, from South Korea. And the final contender. And here we have the, the toy poodle the representing the Russia, Evax Watermark. Representing Mexico. And very appropriately for Mexico, it's the Chihuahua. So these are our finalists. And our judge for the evening, Laurent Pichard from Switzerland, is going to be sorting them out to find the winner of this year's Yukonuba World Challenge stage for this year at Crufts 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands once together for the 12 contestants in the Yukonuba World Challenge 2016. These 12 came through the semi-finals last night, selected by now, three other judges. Now, before we start, and before we ask our judge to go over these dogs, can I ask the American Cocker Spaniel from France to please step forward? This is a delightful piece of dogmanship, now, of sportsmanship. The American this Cocker Spaniel was actually bred in the kennel of our judge tonight, and therefore further. they're not going to compete. They're withdrawing their legitimate the place in the competition here, out of a Pichard sense of sportsmanship and instead yes. are going to be allowed to do a lap of honor. Yes, it's um, very sporting. It's uh, too, too close now, for comfort for the breeder to judge it. A dog he's bred, so that's uh, a great pity that he's got this far, but then has to withdraw. But that's absolutely the, the correct and the sporting thing to do. And a very nice tricolour American cocker, great style. The sloping top line, so typical of the breed. So now, Mr. Pichard, the ring is all yours for judging. So having a reminder of those finalists, of course, having watched the judging last night where Liz Cartledge, Carmen Navarra and Jean-Jacques Dupas from France sent through these finalists from the different sections they were in. Just walking down the line, taking in the outline. Very striking 
outline of the toy poodle there. Full of concentration now. 12, no, now 11 top dogs. And here's the first of them from Norway, Jet's Man in the Moon, three-year-old greyhound dog, owned by Stepanka Harakova, handled by Agna, is it Gentes? You, it's, you will know. It, it, it's Ogre Jetnes, yes. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> and this is do dog, dog of the Year for Norway, top dog in Norway. And, of course, um, Espen Eng's Jets kennel, very famous in Greyhounds, superb stock. And this one is a best-in-show winner all over Europe and a best-in-show winner in the United Kingdom as well. These sleek, flowing lines and the elegant movement of the Greyhound. There's nothing to hide on a Greyhound. They're fit-for-function dogs, everything built for galloping and speed. So there we go, moving out round the ring. A last chance to show his stuff. Jet's man in the moon. Had show careers in the USA, UK, Norway, Sweden and Denmark. A very successful show dog is Henry. Now we've got the bearded collie from the Netherlands. Beardy Connections Kenji. He's known as Kenji. He's a big best in show winner, 26 times best in show. Um, so that's a winning in Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, and Denmark, and the Czech Republic. So he's a well travelled dog. Owned by Renus and Annika Otto. Handled by Annika in the ring tonight. Well known to competitors in the Netherlands as one of the top show dogs of recent years. The bearded collie Kenji and a best in show winner at their big Amsterdam winners show, which was the, their top show, the equivalent of Krups in the Netherlands. There's Kenji doing his stuff, five years old now, he's had a long career and a very successful career. Super shot of the expression of that beautiful beardy. Mm, broad skull and lovely expression. Winner of best in show at the European dog show, Ramesses, the Chow Chow, three and a half years old, King of Egypt, de los Peros de Vigo. Owned by Nuria Vigo Nabison, who's handling in the ring tonight. And again, this is another 26 best in shows again for this dog and all over Europe. He was world, world winner in 95. He's won in Italy, France, Spain. Switzerland, Holland and Luxembourg, Gibraltar. So, <laughs> but above all, he's a wonderful dog. He's squarely built in beautiful coat. And, you know, they, they are a wonderful breed, but, they, you know, they can be very stubborn. But this one is a great show dog, which has won him a lot of awards. And that classic rolling gait as he goes. So sound. The the chow relatively stilted in its gait from a moderate angulation in the rear. It's not a free striding, but it's very correct for the breed. And a blue tongue, always a blue tongue. Very much used to the World Challenge. As I mentioned before, he has two dogs to win And now looking at the representative for Germany, it's the Tibetan Terrier, Falamandus Remastered Edition. A Tibetan Terrier who's four years old, and uh, the owners are Sabine and Katja Raut. It's Katja who's handling here, and again, he's won everything there is a, a dog can win in Germany, Netherlands, Poland, right across Europe, and also in the USA. Now, the Tibetan Terrier has to be squarely built. Hardy, carrying a level top line good and, and nimble on those feet and striding out well and they have rather flat feet Jessica because that's for working on the the sands of the desert they're flat-footed breed and apparently Kiwi is not only a fantastic show dog but a much beloved pet a fabulous dog to live at home who steals everybody's stack uh, snacks uh, at every the, opportunity the, the thing about these great show dogs is that uh, they are family companions and pets it's uh, they just turn on turn on the action when they get into the show ring 
Now, the representative from New Zealand, this is the Bichon Frise, image. Shandau, it's all about image. Four and a half year old dog, bred by Elsie Rennie, who I presume is handling in the ring tonight as well. And it's the second Bichon from the Shandau Kennel to represent New Zealand in this prestigious competition. It's a long way from uh, New Zealand to the NEC in Birmingham, but he seems to have taken it all in his stride. This is in New Zealand. He was dog of the year and when he was young, top of the year as well. So that's remarkable. Now four and a half years of age. A Mediterranean breed. This Bichon Frise means white dog with a slightly corkscrew curled coat and lovely dark pigmentation there. We can see. Proper little showman. That's Image, Shandau, it's all about Image, representing New Zealand. Dark pigment and eyes and <laughs> looking up at its owner. Now, representing Indonesia, the Jack Russell Terrier, Sandy Diamond, Arishem the Judge. Now, this is a breed which has had classes at Crofts for the first time. Uh, so we had marvellous entry and the, the public have really taken to them. So here's one that was Dog of the Year in Indonesia. Uh, owned by Antony Vijaya. Although they're a breed which was native to the United Kingdom, they were developed as show dogs in Australia, but they look as though they, they've taken off all over the world as show dogs. But still, when you look at that, every bit the little working terrier, you can imagine that one, instead of pristine white, scruffy as anything, down and, a hole, ratting going, in the bar. Going to ground, yes, and this <laughs> beautiful top line and tail. Yes. Great. Super little show dog. The Jack Russell Terrier. And stepping out with style. The public have taken the Jack Russell to their heart across this year. I think it will be very popular. So next, representing Portugal, a hound this time. This is Yogi Bear de Sete Minos. Yogi for short. He's a dog. He's owned by Raquel Calachau. Is it Calachau? Yes, Calachau, who's handling here, actually. Yeah. And bred in the famous kennel of Jose Hamem de Mello, a famous breeder. A heavy-built dog, but nonetheless one that should be able to look like he could do a day's work. And here's another one that's won all over Europe. A multi-group winner and best-in-show winner. He's travelled to Malta, Portugal, where he's won best-in-show. The Basset Hound, although they're quite sturdily built, they have to have ground clearance so they can move well and they have to be athletic. Nothing exaggerated or cumbersome about them. Super level top line on the move, this one, and just look at that stern going. White tip on the end, so it doesn't matter where he's hunting, you're going to be able to see him. And there's, it's thought that those long ears encased the scent when they had the heads down working. <laughs> Looks like he's got a pair of chamois leather this there. Now, representing Italy, we have the Maltese. Now, this is a a famous dog, Cincinnetta Ian Summerhalder. Uh, he's almost four now, dog of the year in Italy, a best in show winner in the United Kingdom as well. He's uh, bred by Franco Prosperi in Italy, but shown here by Javier Gonzalez Mendicote, who, who is the usual handler for him. This wonderfully glamorous Maltese with his white silky coat, dark pigmentation. You can see why he's caught the judge's eye in all the countries he's been to. Yes, confirmed a champion in Spain, Croatia, Portugal, Russia, Finland, the UK, Slovenia, Greece, Cyprus and Switzerland. That's quite a roll call. And actually a few years ago, this dog's father won the toy group at Crofts. So he's uh, following in family footsteps.
this dark pigmentation around the eye rims and the nose and the lips, which sets off all of the white, white breeds. Now, this is looking really well. This level top line, the tail carried over the back. I think he's looking the part tonight. Beautiful outline and balance. Rock steady in the top line. A small dog, but full of personality and confidence. And just look at that expression, the determination on that little face. We were so impressed with this dog in the semi-finals last <laughs> night, weren't we? From South Korea, this is Dice Major League, pop -a top roll of the dice, a British bulldog. And the, <laughs> the, the standard asked for a sour mug expression, and that's exactly what we've got there. And of course, he's shown differently from the others. He's not stood side on, he's face on to the judge because the judge wants to see that bulldog head and, and that wide set the, front. And all the wide the power. front with the low center of gravity so they could stand the ground against bulls originally when they were, when they were bulldogs. And, and bull such baiting. a free moving one, this. This is representing South Korea, of course. Belongs to Ji Sung Koo, handled by Jin Woo Lee in the ring. And this dog has won in the U. United States, China, the Philippines, and Thailand. Marvellous career, he's had. And a great personality. Look at him standing his ground there. Always face on to the judge so he can get the most impressive angle on this breed. And I, and I think a crowd favourite here. So, absolutely chilled out in the atmosphere of the big Well, he, look, he looks yes. like he's taking a trot down to the park, doesn't he? He's not remotely concerned about any of this. Super looking dog. Beautifully clean eyes, big nostrils, which are important for the shorter-faced breeds. Now, what a contrast <laughs> from the British Bulldog to the Russian representative. Evac's watermark, this is Pitt, a toy poodle. And he's only 20 months of age, so he's, he's done very well and a great career. Uh, he's handled here by Natalia Mankova, who bred him and uh, owns him and co-owns him with Anna Stepkina and they come from Russia but he's also won in Czechoslovakia and he's had 11 best in shows all round Europe now if you want a show dog <laughs> the poodle's hard to beat they love the show ring this short back this long neck the tail carried high and great driving action this is a beautiful beautiful profile and type on this toy poodle. Because, of course, there's so much more to a poodle than that coat. People at, at, at home often tend to dismiss them because of the fancy coat. In fact, they are the most intelligent, outgoing, fantastic companions poodle. They're, they're brilliant little dogs. And, of course, the toy poodle is a miniaturized breed, and they come down from a, a, a duck retriever. The standard poodle we used originally as duck retrievers. So we'll talk about those later in the utility group. Very stylish. And the last of our competitors now, representing Mexico appropriately, this is Sonito Sanos Filo Sanchez, a Chihuahua. Now, they may be the smallest breed in the world, but they don't know that. They're full of confidence. They can take on anything and uh, they're unabashed with uh, any situation. Here he is, this little Chihuahua with the dome skull, his large flared ears and those big dark eyes. And, of course, they come in two different coat types. The longer coat, this is a short coat. Nothing to hide there. And the tail carried like a little scimitar over the back with a lovely level top line. Might be the <laughs> smallest in this ring, but certainly full of self-importance. <laughs> That's it. Get yourself together to move nicely. Very excited. Well, So there we have our Mexican representative, the Chihuahua. All have now been looked at by our judge, Laurent Pichard. And, and then he will decide who is going to win the Yukonuba World Challenge for 2017. Quality dogs in that lineup, yes, Frank. Yes, I think he's going to have his work cut out here. And uh, very experienced, Laurent. And uh, I think that Maltese looks marvellous tonight. And the Bulldog also. Look everything he could go anywhere because they're all full of quality all of course top dogs in their own right in the countries they're representing here tonight 
I think he's um, going, to going to send them round. Here, he'll take. That will have been the purpose of uh, bringing them in in size order, so you don't have a greyhound running down a chihuahua. They're all going to take a final turn of this big ring. This is where the judge will be looking at their top lines, their reach in the front movement, where, that they're getting the hops well underneath them. A rather different, different type of movement from the chow, but it's breed typical movement, and that's important. And there is the little Bichon. All of these competitors, look at them, just lifting themselves that yeah. little bit in response to the audience, because, of course, they're show dogs. Yes. These dogs have been shown all over the world. They know when they're doing and, well. And, and there is the Maltese. He looks marvellous tonight, and so does this bulldog. Look at that, for cool customer. And what a wonderful mm -hmm. representative of one of these shorter face breeds, so sound. And the cheeky chihuahua. He last, doesn't know he's the smallest in there. <laughs> last but not least, uh, in, in self-importance. So here we go. Final decisions time. We think we're going to get third, second, and then first. Hold that moment. So this is building up to a climax now. Big prize for the, the winner. And there's the trophy in the foreground. Who's it going to be handed to? Uh, now I see. So a prestigious prize. And we're going to see the third place, that's the second runner-up. So uh, we'll see the third place dog coming out first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're making us wait. <laughs> there they go. Well, he knows who's good. Lauren's own man, he knows he's given out the awards to the um, to the commentators so this is just a laugh of honor for all of them all 11 who are left Remember? and of course all such deserving winners they're top dogs in the countries they represent here tonight they've got nothing to prove but how fantastic that we get the opportunity to see all of these international top dogs together in the same and, ring uh, what what's your eye telling you jessica any any well, I, I, I have a hugely soft spot for that bulldog. I think the Russian poodle Balls looks absolutely us. superb tonight. Ah, little Jack well, Russell. And, and the Maltese looks marvellous. Yes, I think, from here, from here. Anyway, we're not uh, in the ring, but we uh, haven't got our hands on the dogs. Exactly. We're only looking from ringside. Here we go. The boards are out. Oh my goodness! And, and um, Simon Luxmore, the chairman of the Kennel Club, will be presenting our runner-up. So here comes the Simon Luxmore, chairman of the Kennel Club, of the who's going to present and Rafael de Santiago, the up. effectively third Vice place. President, Pet Europe Spectrum Brands, owner of Yukonuba, who will uh, bring the uh, World Challenge Trophy from Yukonuba. Give them a round of applause. Suitably gigantic checks propped up <laughs> against the, uh, the boards there. So... First runner-up of the Yukonuba World Challenge 2016. In third place is... Big fanfare, who's it going to be? The is... English Bulldog! Oh, oh that's fantastic. <laughs> so Ma the Bulldog is in there. Marvellous. Great favourite of the crowd, put on a great show. Marvellous for the breed to have a healthy, sound representative like this.
is getting 1,500 euros. I'll buy him a bit of dog and food to last him, I think, Jessica. Or is there a fair? <laughs> In second place is the Toy Poodle from Russia. Yes, the Toy Poodle's in there. Oh, Jessica, feeling... <laughs> Jessica, you're spot on. The Toy Poodle. Now, marvellous, only, only a young dog, 20 months of age. All the way from Russia. Clever breeders in Russia. Evax now, Watermark. Uh, uh, now, Who's Jessica, be the winner? Mal Maltese, Maltese, or Chow, what do you think? They're, they're where I'm leaning okay. myself. Do you want to know the winner? Do you want to know the winner? Oh. <laughs> the Yukon Uber World Challenge 2016 trophy. It goes to... Representing Italy, it's it the is the Maltese. <laughs> oh, marvellous, marvellous. Put on a faultless show, a beautiful dog. Look at that. Champion Winds of Fortune, Valentina's Magic. Worked magic this evening, taking the Yukonuba World Challenge. Spot Ladies on, and gentlemen, Frank. please stand to celebrate and applaud the Maltese. From Italy, the Yukon Uber World Challenge champion wins a cheque of seven and a half thousand euros. A prize of three and a half thousand euros goes also to the Kennel yes, Club a, of Italy, which marvelous, is marvelous, this magnificent marvelous dog victory. who has just been crowned best of the best. And actually, at the my, I've, I've got World the wrong notes Challenge. in front of me, so it's totally the wrong name. It's, it's, it's little Chinetti uh, Ian Summerhadler. Isn't that from the Vampire Chinetti Diaries? Yes, 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 yes. Totally drop dead gorgeous <laughs> from the Vampire Diaries. Yes. Chinachita Ian Summerholder, the Maltese, of Italy. beautiful winner of the Yukonuba World Challenge.